Good morning from San Diego. It is a Wednesday morning and we are headed to the Little Italy Farmer's Market. So let's go check it out. So we're at the Farmer's Market here in Little Italy. We are at the Wednesday market, but they also have one on Saturdays. So similar, but like There are so many different vendors here. We've seen a uh, bookstore, basically, lots of farmer's markets, jewelry, crafts, and clothing so far. And we've only just begun. So we're excited to check this out. So this is a really cool fountain. So anytime you do any type of loose leaf tea, you usually don't have a tea bag. So, we actually have different tea bags. You guys can put your tea bags in. Hang in your mug. That would be nice to consume it. And they're just pretty easy. Oh, yeah. That's all. And this one's the lavender vanilla? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you ate yours already? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> yeah, a little sample. Okay. Look at those berries, they're so pretty. They have them so neatly stacked. That is really cool. It looks so delicious. There's a mushroom place and it's showing you all the medicinal benefits from the mushrooms that she's got. We just tried the samples here. They were delicious. <laughs> Where are you guys visiting from? Wisconsin. Everybody's from like Minnesota, Wisconsin. Day. It's cool. No, okay, so. Maryland. Look at these cool. Let me show you how this stuff works. It's all handmade He's gonna... in Spain. You're going to out this in the grater. We're going to start with the cheese, end up over here with the garlic and the ginger for you. You can do any hard white cheese at the table. Parmesan, Asiago, and Jago, Pegrino. If you hold the place sideways, you and the guests are feeding pots of salad, pizza, and vegetables. Mess them around. Everybody can do it until the cheese is gone or your neighbors go home. You can garnish with chocolate. It's going to be very fine. Cheesecake, strawberries, ice cream, hot chocolate, tiramisu. Does anyone ever use whole nutmeg? Yes. Hard. Like just, a rug. I just use it. Yeah. It's on our list. It's not often uh, people use it. I make uh, smoked candy for pants. I put nutmeg and cinnamon in there. A little oh, chili. Wow. A powder in it. And you use the whole nut? Yep. And at home, you use the microplane? Yes. Watch this. Hold the hand out. There you go. The other way. Yeah, it's not a rainbow. So I was a sucker. I bought one of the garlic graters, but it was it's so cool. All the things that he showed us. How to use it for peppers and cheese and chocolate so that's their booth right there so I don't know if this video is going to do it justice but we're at the market we're on the very end here of State Street and Date Street you can see the water way down there hopefully this is the place where I just bought my garlic grater there's a taco truck right here so it's never too early for tacos, but I don't know if we'll actually get one or not. So this is the market. So far, we're really enjoying it, and we are surprised by all the good things that you can get here. John said that if we lived here, it would be very dangerous because there are so many things that we would like to pick up today. But unfortunately, since we're just visiting, we're not able to pick up and take home with us. But all the fruit looks so delicious. And it was like $4 for a little basket of strawberries. There's tons of different, um, uh, what am I thinking of, like peaches and plums and things like that. But everything looks good so far. I think we're just going to snack a little bit more and check out the market. Okay, closer look at the taco truck. They are steamed tacos. We've never had one of those. But here's the taco truck. If you want a Cuban sandwich, they got smoothies, they got empanadas, they got veggie stuff, the French gourmet, they must have, oh, they got bread and pastries, wow, look at those, oh, look at that almond croissant, the fresh bread, and some yogurt. <laughs> Where did he go? Oh, he's looking at the bread. 
هاي فلور احسن له احسن له هي تحيه او الزعبور تراي بيج مان هو تراي سبينش ارتشوك والدار اوه ماي جاد I just tried some spinach artichoke dip. Oh my gosh, it's delicious. Food here is so good. You like good food? This is a spicy, I don't know, tomato or something. You want to make it for him? What's this one? Spicy hummus. Okay. Wow. Georgina, Rafael, and Spicy hummus. I know. So good. So good. They're, they're entertaining us. Now we're at Cafe de Oya, but they don't have coffee, so they got salsa. Oh, they do! Oh, it's on the back there. I didn't see it. So they do have coffee. We have two different types. They have the type of frescas, our fresh ones. Then we have chili oil. Um, the frescas, they go from mildest to spiciest. These two are fire roasted and they're chunky. The tomato and tomatillo, avocado, and this one is like in the one. And then for our chili oils, these two have nuts and they're it's like a smoky and uh, flavor and then this is the Oh butterfly or something. I don't know what it is. I know. Oh, it landed on oh it's a big bug. <laughs> it likes you. So I tried the fire roasted one, the mild one here. That is really good. So John's going to try the chili oil this time. Yeah, we just actually, this is our first day. I don't think it's going to be what they have, right? Uh-huh. And then the one that was good. Um, we have an eight house. Really good. And yeah. For $7, and then we got... Hundred year old recipe. It's sweet, then it's got a little horseradish kick to it. Okay. And it's a lot softier, so it's designed to be drizzled on stuff. You can put it on any meat, fish, veggie, chicken wings. Oh, wow. Wings. Use it more like a sauce instead of like a traditional spreadable mustard. Yeah. That is really good. Yeah. So we now have samples of ginger turmeric tea that they're selling right here. Look at that. John's trying some hot sauces. He can handle the heat. So this area we've entered is mostly food and places to eat. So we've got dumplings and we've got some tamales. We got some rice bowls, all kinds of things around us. So John's gonna get a tamale. Yep, I got strawberry tamale. Oh, he's gonna get a sweet one. Those aren't my favorite. Gonna get strawberry or pineapple? I don't know. We'll find out. Ooh, look at that. There you go. Five dollars. That looks delicious. What kind did you get? Pineapple. Pineapple. Mm. And next door, this looks good to me. Dumplings. Might have to get a dumpling for breakfast. That is a really big tamale. Oh, is it? It's like I remember. It's very good. It's like I remember. Oh, it's hot. Careful. So you can buy them frozen too? Yeah, frozen and right here. Okay. Okay, and she's cooking them right there. Thank you. Okay, so I got the six Korean barbecue, and I got soy sauce and scallions on them. 
Check out these aprons. Those are really cool. They're leather. I think I have a spot that you can put a can. Perfect for grilling. That was a really fun farmer's market, a great experience that we had. We are now going to head towards the waterfront and check that out. So we made it to the waterfront and there is a huge ship in the water over there that you can go, looks like, do some tours on and explore. Over here they're taking tickets for the, the Maritime Museum. There is the bay. And look, there's a cyber truck. So the cruise ship terminal is a six, uh, six minute walk down that way. And if you're here, the Wyndham looks like a nice hotel to stay at right across the street. We've made it to the waterfront. And that ship that we saw from across the street, that is the Star of, uh, Star of India. But look at it, it's pretty cool. And there is the USS Midway. This is the entrance, the walkway to get in and do the tour. We did that a couple years ago, so we're not going to do it today. But it's a really fun experience. If you've not done it in San Diego, check it out. And they also have the museum as part of the tour as well. So here is the front of the ship. And way back in the distance is the famous statue. I think we're going to head that way and get you a closer look. So when you do the tour for the USS Midway, you can go to the top and you can tour all of the planes and helicopters that are sitting up there. It is a really good and fun experience. We highly recommend that you check it out if you are in San Diego. So this is the Embracing of Peace statue with the iconic kiss. I'll get a better angle in a second. You heard me? <laughs> there we go. There's a better view. So John wanted to check out the uh, fish market restaurant. We've been here before, but they do have a market inside, so I'll show you that. So right when you first walk in the door, if you come into the left, there is this little fish market. They have some smoked salmon, some prawns, crab cakes, garlic bread, some different chowders and cocktail sauce, tuna salad. They have some Mediterranean mussels, some more prawns. Ooh, those scallops look good. Lobster tails, oysters, little neck clams, crab legs, calamari steak. Ahi tuna, Alaskan halibut, swordfish, salmon, and rockfish. Ooh, and they also have a tank here that has lobsters in it. So we had a great time down here in San Diego. Behind me is the USS uh, Midway. So we are on our way to a Korean grocery store. So we'll show you that next. So we have made it to the Korean grocery store. They have these in the Chicago area. So we've been to them before. And when we saw that there was one near where we were, we decided to come check this one out. So we are at H Mart Groceries here in the Balboa, Balboa Park area of San Diego. Let's go check it out. So we did see online that this H Mart has a cafeteria with some different food stalls right before you get to the actual market. We're going to stop there when we're done shopping and get something to eat. John already found something he wants to eat. He wants to get one of these uh, hot dogs, Korean hot dogs. $4 for two pounds of strawberries. Look at all this fresh fruit. The Napa cabbage is 69 cents a pound. Look at all that Napa cabbage you can make kimchi with. That would be a lot of kimchi. They have a whole cooler full of drinks here. I'm sure you can find almost anything you're looking for. These earthenware bowls are fantastic for bibimbap. You get them when you go to the restaurants. They have small ones. 
and ones that are a little bit bigger. We've gotten to the aisle of snacks. All kinds of snacks. And we got Pocky. We've made it to the sashimi cooler and it looks amazing. $18 for that tray right here. $15. Oh my gosh, it looks so fresh and so delicious. And then they have these big trays down here. Oh my gosh. Oh, these are my favorite salmon. Oh, we might have to get some of that. John found some squid salad. Oh, they got all these different salads up there. Oh, I'm getting hungry now. Here's the rest of the seafood market. We got some fish here. On the back, they've got a bunch of aquariums that have live crabs and things in them. And then there's another cooler here that's got some different fish in it. Look, you can even get fish heads. Oysters. Clams. They even have frozen frog legs. Baby squid. Mackerel. And if you buy something, they ask you how you like it clean. So if you want it to be cut up or filleted, you can have them do that. So across from the market, they have some shrimp that you can bag up yourself. They also have some conch meat, more shrimp, cuttlefish, pink shrimp, some prawns, crab legs. They've got baby octopus over here, belt fish. And on the other side, they have some of the more whole fish that you can get. For those shrimp, look how huge they are pretty big. If any of this content has made you hungry for more, please consider subscribing to our channel so that you can get notifications of our future videos. We've come to the very popular side of the grocery store. It's all the side dishes that you can make with your Korean food. And another very popular portion of the grocery store is the wall of kimchi. This one doesn't seem to have that many compared to some other stores that we've been to, but it's got a good variety. We could definitely spend hours here. We don't have any meals planned that we could use any of this, but we do just like to come and check out all the food that they have at H Mart. The nearest one for us is about an hour, an hour, well, probably two hours from our house. So we don't get there too often, but we do like to browse when we see one or any Korean grocery stores that are near where we're at. So we just finished our grocery shopping, so now we're back into the food hall. Trying to decide what we want to eat. They all have good food here. He's got some kimbap. Okay. This one's got hot dogs. This is what John wants. He wants to get a hot dog. This one. Let's see. This one's got some seafood. Oh, I like that seafood soup. It's a noodle place here. So we'll get some food and then I'll show you what we got. Okay, so the first thing that we ordered was some fried chicken, just the three piece. We got some sauce. We ordered it from the Jaws Express. Looks pretty crispy. So there's a better look at our chicken here. And we're going to give it a try. Okay, I'm going to try the chicken. It's a little hot. We got 
Go. Spicy sauce for it. The batter on the chicken is really crispy. Got a little spice to it. The sauce is spicy, but it's got a little bit of a like a sweetness, like a barbecue sauce to it. So it's really good. We have to wait until 2:15 until the corn dog place opens, and then we are going to get a, a corn dog from there. Now I'm going to have the corn dog. So this has some sriracha, spicy chili, and a little onion garlic powder on it. Crispy, salty, a little sweet. I like it. I didn't order this again. Even though the sauce on my face. That's really good. It's the best one I've had. I'm going to pour some of this uh, KFC sauce on there. If I can get it to come out. Add some real spice. Mm. I'd roll it in that. It's delicious. That's fantastic. I mean, I really like it, so definitely get it again. Okay, my turn again to try the corn dog. So. It's very unique flavors. Um, I do like the potato and the sauce on there. Um, it's a different kind of hot dog, though. Or I was thinking it was going to be like a sausage sausage, but it's just a hot dog, a regular corn dog. And it's got the potato chunks on the outside of it and then a little drizzle of the sauce. So it's a nice little snack. So this is where we got our hot dogs from. John the hot dog your order number 67 is ready. So John got number four, the potato sausage. The hot dog your order number 67 is ready. And here's all the different sauces that you can add on there. So some different powdered sauces and then some sauces to put on top. So we finished our shopping and our snacks here at H Mart and I looked at the ad for this week and it looks like you guys have 14 different H Marts in the area so you guys are very lucky. As I said we have one but it's about two hours from our house. We really enjoyed our uh, shopping here and if you've not shopped at one before and you need any groceries for any Asian recipes to come check out H Mart. They will probably have what you are looking for. And our food, we got the um, KFC, the fried chicken and the corn dogs. Those are very nice little snacks because we didn't want to eat too much. We have a family dinner later this afternoon. So thanks for watching today. I don't know if we'll get much more uh, for sightseeing in today. So if not, thanks for joining today's journey and we'll catch you tomorrow. So we were driving down convoy and we found this plaza. So we stopped. There's a bunch of Korean places around here, some barbecue places, and we found an ice cream place. So we're going to go check it out. So this is Sunday ice cream. And we'll go inside and check it out. Here's the different flavors. We got oolong brown sugar, bracha. I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of these. Strawberry milk, Vietnamese coffee, I almost thought about that one, Thai tea, POG, banana milk, yes please, Terra ube, black sesame, lychee, and vanilla. So I'm going to get the Thai tea. Mm. There's my ice cream. Here we go. Here is my Thai tea ice cream. Mm. It tastes just like Thai tea. So good. Mm -mm -mm. It's really, really, really good. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's got that Thai tea flavor on it. This is delicious. All right, I don't know.
standing. It's a little nutty pleasure, like you say. I don't know how to explain it. It's like coconut, almond, all in one. It's different. It's good. Now, ube. It's just mild. Love the purple color. It's really good. Different flavors, which is nice. Different traditional ones. Definitely come here again. That was really good ice cream. Highly recommend you stop if you like ice cream. And uh, my favorite was the Thai tea. It tasted just like a Thai tea that you would get at a uh, restaurant. So, so good. Nice way to end our day.